From Washington, D.C., this is the Muslim News on Muslim Network TV. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Hina Zuberi. Our top story tonight. Israeli attacks have killed nearly 100 people in Gaza in the past 24 hours, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. Al Jazeera reports that an Israeli airstrike targeting a UN refugee agency aid distribution center in the city of Rafah in southern Gaza killed four people. Palestinian journalists have shared footage documenting people bringing in victims of an Israeli bombing in central Rafah to the Kuwaiti hospital. Israeli forces also conducted raids in the West Bank, killing at least four Palestinians, including two minors and the destruction of infrastructure. In a separate incident west of Jerusalem in the town of Al-Jib, at least two other Palestinians were killed and three others injured. They were shot by Israeli forces at a checkpoint late Tuesday, the Palestinian Red Crescent reports. Israeli forces also killed a 15-year-old accused of carrying out a stabbing attack at a Jerusalem checkpoint. In a joint statement, 25 human rights and humanitarian organizations operating in Gaza have urged for unhindered humanitarian access throughout all land crossings. Hezbollah says two of its fighters were killed after Israel launched attacks deep inside Lebanon for a second consecutive day. At least 31,272 Palestinians have been killed and 72,024 injured in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October 7th. The revised death toll in Israel from the October 7th attack stands at 1,139.